In this video we're going to talk a little bit about how to connect you, your laptop to the CPAM relay. There's two different types of uh, connectors depending on the age of the unit. Uh, first, is on the older one, tangled up here, is what I just like to call a PS2 and hopefully the camera will focus on it and it looks like that. Sort of like what your old style keyboard or mouse would connect to on your computer. For this one, you'll need a couple different components. Uh, first and foremost is this little kit here that you can get from Schneider Electric. I don't know of another source for this one. It takes the PS2 and converts it to a DB9 serial. If your computer happens to have a serial port and those are rare anymore, then you can. this is all you need. You can connect uh, one end to the CPAM and the other end to your laptop uh, via the serial port and away you go. In most cases, uh, modern laptops don't have that serial port, in which case you will need a USB to serial adapter. And here is one here. We will focus on that good. And these can be had either directly from Schneider or um, Amazon, for example. Uh, this kit with these two components right here are available from Schneider directly, but you will pay a price for them. Uh, so the cable, of course, you probably don't have a choice on, but the USB adapter, I would look elsewhere for it. The other connection is what we call mini USB B. Looks like this here. Don't confuse it with the micro USB like you use to charge a lot of your phones and whatever. And that is also available from Schneider for a price, but you can also get it on Amazon. Uh, a regular USB to uh, USB Mini B like this. I buy a 20, I have actually a couple 25 foot cables I use so I can set in one place and work on a lot of relays at once without having to relocate, which is handy. I think they're like 10 bucks. So that, that's the way you'd want to go to get your cabling. And something you want to keep in mind when you are connecting, uh, obviously you want to have the SFT2841 software installed first. Before you connect to your computer, Boot your computer up, make sure it's on. You don't need to start the software necessarily yet, but let it do its complete boot up. Then connect at the relay. Then connect the other end to your computer. And it, everything should find itself. Uh, sometimes with the serial ports, you may need to do a little hunting around and mess around with selecting the correct COM port when the SFT software comes up and connects. If it does come up and says failure to connect, there's usually a drop down box on the uh, software you'll see it on your screen. You can click on that drop down box and you may be on a different COM port. Uh, sometimes this stuff can drive you nuts. It just depends on your, your computer. And it's even more so when you're using the uh, serial converter from the DB9 to USB. A lot of times you'll have to get in and start monkeying around with COM port settings. Uh, which is a, a whole other topic. There's a lot of them out there. You just uh, do a little search for that. I'm not going to get into the computer tech part of it right here, but most of the time this will make a direct connection and you'll be good to go.